friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 5th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at the last 48 hours of imagery of our sun, as we did have a large plasma filament there in the southeastern region, bottom right hand, and as well some plasma filaments and solar flares all in the past two days. And just recently, we did see an X-class solar flare, so minor and outgoing. Let's have a look at the last 48 hours incoming. Large plasma filament on the left-hand side, keeping an eye on that, and as well the right. Look at that snap back to the surface, and then looking at outgoing here. Same thing, plasma filament on both the south and the north one of them swirling and whipping away. The other one seems to be attached to the surface. Left-hand side there. And top right-hand side is where we saw the X-Class solar flare. So it was an outgoing position. Having a look here at the last 48 hours of all the activity. Multiple M-Class solar flares and an X-Class. And plasma filaments interacting in sunspot regions we've also got a huge sunspot that is turning in having a look at multi-spectrum just another way to see it there large plasma filaments northern hemisphere and as well coronal hole region developing right there getting ready for an earth facing event another light here just some amazing images accentuating the M-class solar flares and as well the X-class solar flare just being reported. Also right now we have 10 sunspot regions that are Earth-facing. There is our most recent X-flare coming from sunspot region 3762. Having a look at these sunspot regions in motion Looking at the left-hand side there, big sunspot region turning in compared to the other ones. Watch out, folks. Current space weather conditions are the R3, strong radio blackout impacts, wide area blackout impacts expected from high-frequency radio. Solar winds are coming in at 476 kilometers per second. They were over 500 earlier today. Solar X-ray flux so showing here, minor X-class solar flare followed by another M-class and it was a long duration X. And as well, look at that multiple M-class solar flares the last two days. Solar proton flux hopping up a little bit. Geomagnetic activity hopped up to a KP7 overnight last night. And that was forecasted here with daily events worldwide. And that was from that large plasma filament that I showed in the southeast region. Having a look here at the highest frequency affected areas... That is the M-class, or sorry, the X-class solar flare followed by the quick M-class solar flare. And our sun is putting on quite a show for Solar Cycle 25. Having a look at the coronal mass ejections from the most recent events. Space Weather Prediction Center giving here the prediction spirals of space weather coming our way. And this was forecasted here a few days ago with daily events worldwide. Geomagnetic storms impacting us right up until the 3rd and 4th, but with this most recent CME, we could see it last a little bit longer, and as well, we could see some more activity coming our way. Another way to see our sun here, looking at Lasco image, showing the cosmic energies leaving our sun. This is from the last five days. I will slow down the most recent CMEs. There's an Earth-facing event. And then another Earth-facing event right there. And as well, the most recent CME coming from the X-class solar flare. Notice the timestamp there. There's about six hours missing. Stay tuned as we thread it all together, folks. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours. 
as it's been pretty quiet. A little bit too low for my liking. 261 kilometer depth earthquake. That is the deepest, deepest the last 24 hours. And then in Japan. Indonesia, Ternate, Indonesia and the Philippines seeing aftershocks through the region. 5.1 there towards Krakatoa. 5.1 earthquake there, Carlsberg Ridge. 4.0 Koro, Tajikistan. Largest earthquake the last 24 hours, largest magnitude, 5.4, 111 kilometer depth. But just recently we did see a 5.4 in Mexico. Ecuador with a 4.6 Caribbean plate, a little too quiet for my liking. All across Central America right now, a little too quiet. North American plate, notable earthquake here, Tennessee, 2.5. Other than that, no major swarms to talk about. But across the West Coast right now, Salton City, 3.3, being the largest. And just recently, as I said, Francisco Madero, Mexico, reporting a 5.4 earthquake just now. USGS reporting 202 earthquakes, 24-hour period. And that is slightly below average. Notable earthquakes here south of the Salton Sea. Imperial, California, Anza, California, and northward. Other than that, the only major swarm is here at the geysers. And right now that is sitting at about 35 earthquakes at the geysers. Carrying on here, 3.4 earthquake reported there. Hawaii, not swarming, has all of a sudden just gone quiet. Same with Alaska. So heads up, everybody. Something big is a brewing, I do believe, right across the Pacific Plate. Quick glance here at the last seven days for shakers around the world. Largest being the 6.8 earthquake in the Philippines. Deepest being 660 kilometer depth earthquake Fiji last week, just before that large 6.8 earthquake. Way too quiet, Central America. Interesting and notable earthquakes along the equator region through Africa and south of it. Now let's get to weather here as we do have Tropical Storm Debbie that has formed into a tropical system. It was just an area of interest but quickly turned into a Category 1 hurricane as it made landfall uh, just north of Tampa Bay and is now bringing tons of rain all across the Florida state as it will slowly trek up the eastern seaboard. Flash floods and flood warnings will be going out and will be seen. Storm surge, a la very high storm surge, most likely through Virginia Beach as the storm stalls. And then we've got all these systems here. We've got Fabio. We've got Emilia. We have Daniel. We also have Carlotta. So that's four tropical cyclones here developing in the Pacific all in the past 36 hours, all named systems. So we've got one, two, three, four, five tropical systems right there just across the Atlantic and Central Pacific. Also a notable disturbance developing in the long range. Notable here, having a look at satellite imagery, big dust storm coming off of the Sahara Heavy dust particulates sweeping across the Central Atlantic. And then we've also got these areas of interest across the West Pacific right now. Heading towards Taiwan. Invest Area 94 and as well 91 and 93. So heads up, stay tuned for the world weather forecast that is coming up quickly here. Also notable here, overlooking eastern Russia, some very large signatures of wildfire smoke. Be sure to follow Zoom Earth on Instagram and as well daily events worldwide. Please find all the social media links in the video links in description. Now let's have a look at our air quality forecast brought to you by windy.com. This is showing all the SO2 and as well wildfire smoke from the erupting volcanoes and, of course, wildfires across western Canada. 
big plume coming out of Central Africa and as well North Africa from Mount Etna. And as well the near Gongo and near Merigira volcanoes. Notable too across the southern hemisphere, lots of SO2. And that's not just from the Malaysia and Indonesia volcanoes. Something has erupted in the southern hemisphere. I'd like to know where all this SO2 is coming from. I'm pretty sure it's from the Heard volcano, which is in the South Indian Ocean. Now let's have a look at our world weather forecast. Tropical Storm Debbie here forecasted for the next couple days to grind up the east coast. Not making landfall in the Carolina states until Thursday or Friday. Alberta Clipper scooting into the mix. Some very strong winds, heavy rains heading towards the Atlantic provinces in the long-range forecast. Stay tuned to daily events worldwide. High-pressure ridge building in for most of North America. Overlooking Europe, strong, big, low-pressure system across the North Atlantic right now, bringing multiple waves of moisture. Center of the low will be grazing parts of North Great Britain, or sorry, North United Kingdom, and then watch for a big low to develop there for Eastern Europe. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Australia, New Zealand, no major cyclones or typhoons here developing in the long range. Strong system heading towards New Zealand for Wednesday into Thursday. Leave you here looking at the North Pacific. Big high pressure blockade across the West Coast, the United States and Canada. And it does not seem to be breaking free. All these systems coming from the Great White North. So heads up, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.